Before I read the prayer, uh, I want to embarrass Sandy and Austin for a second. We all went to high school together many years ago, and poor Sarah and her brother Austin had a curfew and had to be in bed at 8 o'clock every night till they were about 22 years old. I, I said to Sandy, we had a conversation on the phone, I said, these poor kids never heard the word sitcom. They didn't know what Seinfeld was. I think they put the shades down about seven. They were the only kids at Williamsville East that had 10 to 12 hours of sleep at night. They were in shock the first two periods of the school day. It was unbelievable, but both of them turned out very well in spite of that. All right, dear Lord, we come before you this evening to celebrate the sacred union of Sarah and Rich. God who created man out of love also calls him to love. For man is created in the image and likeness of God, who is himself love. Since God created him man and woman, their mutual love becomes an image of the absolute and unfailing love with which God loves man. Jesus performed his first miracle during a wedding feast at Cana in response to a request by his mother. This act by Christ, turning water into wine, is a clear confirmation of the goodness of marriage and an outward sign of Christ's presence in this special sacrament. All of us gathered this evening, family and friends, are here not only to celebrate the marriage of Sarah and Rich, but also to support this couple as they journey through life. Dear God, we ask that you bless this couple and thank you for allowing us to share this food and this evening together. Amen. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the brand spanking new, Mr. and Mrs. Robletto, right there, right there, give it up for him. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy your dinner here at the Brookfield Country Club, and we will have a lot of surprises for you after dinner.